DAT this past summer and I wanted to make this video to help you get a great score, be successful, and just give you tips and advice and share my personal experience. So I'm going to cover the study materials that I used, my study schedule, and also show you how my scores progress throughout taking all the different practice tests. And this is just going to be kind of a general overview of everything. If you want to see subject by subject, individual tips that I have for biology or reading, and talk about how I scored what I got on those sections, just feel free to ask and I would be very happy to make those for you guys. So a little disclaimer before we start that everyone's going to study differently. They're going to use different time spans. They're going to need to spend a different amount of time on every single subject. And um, it's just important to keep that in mind that everyone's going to define a successful score on the DAT differently and prepare differently. So this is just my own personal experience and it will hopefully allow you to get ideas for your studying, maybe calm your nerves or motivate you during this process. So a general overview of what the DAT is, if you're kind of new to this, it's just that it is a um, test with six sections, including what people would call PAT, which is the perceptual ability section, and within that there's different types of questions. And then there's what people would call RC, reading comprehension, QR, quantitative reasoning, which is math problems. Then there's your sciences, your biology, general chemistry, and organic chemistry. And so, like I said, if you want to see detailed videos about any of those subjects, just let me know and I'd be happy to make them and give you all the advice that I've accumulated through also looking at other videos and posts and things like that. And the test is out of 30 points, that's the best you could get per section, and then they also give you an overall average and they give you a total science score. And um, a couple important things about that is you could get two points wrong in every single section test and get a different score out of 30 for every single section. And you could take the test again and get two wrong and still get a completely different score because it's kind of based on how other people are doing on that exact test or the hardness of that specific test. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're trying to determine what score you want to be aiming for. And another important piece of information when you're deciding what kind of score you want to be aiming for is looking at what schools you're interested in applying to. Most schools have an average accepted DAT score of between a 19 to a 21, whereas the average like median of people that take the DAT is a 17. So when you're planning how you want to study and your goal, you would probably want it to be within that 19 to 21 range or even above that if you want to set your hopes high. I personally had a goal of a 21 when I was studying. <laughs> On to the materials that I used. So my main thing, the holy grail, everyone will tell you this, is DAT Bootcamp. It's an online website, a subscription that lasts, I think, three months or something along those lines or a certain set of weeks. And it's re pretty reasonably priced compared to other testing materials, and that was my main resource. And then I also purchased DAT Destroyer, which is a great set of books. I had the Math Destroyer as well as the whole DAT Destroyer book. But um, I personally didn't use that that much just because it was I didn't have the time. It was slightly overkill, but it will get you an amazing score. If you're looking to get like a, 20, like a 25, 26, like... 95th percentile on this exam, maybe just to do great or to offset a bad GPA or something. It's definitely something you'd want to purchase if you're trying to get an out of the ballpark score. And then I also really liked DAT QVault. I purchased that for math, bio, and general chemistry. I did a couple practice tests for all those sections on there because I felt like I was running out of boot camp tests, so I didn't want to waste the boot camp tests. And then I also used Quizlet. There's a lot of DAT Quizlets for all the different sections. Like there's a ton for bio, so don't really bother making your own. Just use the ones that are there. It's really easy to search for them. And I'll try to link some below on this. And then there's also a ton of YouTube videos. I use those specifically for like biology. And if I make a video about that, I'll link the ones that I used there. And then there's videos like this, people offering kind of breakdowns of how they studied. So for my study schedule, 
I started with Ari's 10 week schedule that you can find online. It's through DAT Bootcamp. He was the founder of DAT Bootcamp. And that's what a lot of people will tell you to do, especially if you're gonna be doing the summer only DAT, only DAT studying thing that I did. And I followed that to a T as well as I could May up until June. And my whole studying, I started right when I got back from finals that Monday, which was May 7th, and then I took my test on July 24th. I actually only studied for 12 weeks because during some of that time, I knew I had a big volunteering event that was like four days long, and I had a family event that took up three days. And then I also chose to study Monday through Saturday, and I was putting in anywhere from six to eight hours a day, which really varied depending on how well I knew the material that was being presented, and other things like being able to just stay focused because it's a lot of hard work. So I chose to do 12 weeks instead of his recommended 10 weeks because I knew that I would need extra time at the end for kind of content review. And I also, I basically stretched out the process, the learning process one week and then gave myself a week at the end to review because I knew and I'd heard that his study schedule is pretty rigorous if you're really gonna try to follow it to a T, especially because at the time I was trying to incorporate DAT destroyer problems with Ari's schedule, they are included in there. So I was trying to do that as well as the boot camp resources, which was really a lot of information, but if you can do it, it's great and you'll get a great score. The study schedule, I was following it as well as I could, trying to check off every single box, I had it printed out, I was just rolling through every single day. And the first few days were, as you'd expect, a little bit easier. They didn't take a full six or eight hours because it was a lot of introductory chemistry concepts that you're probably familiar with, but you might be rusty on them, so it might take longer. And then by June, I realized that I can't get all this done in a day, and I knew I had the extra week, so that's when I decided I need to make my own schedule, which I recommend you would do right from the beginning. So I'll put um, a picture of what my schedule looked like um, on the screen for you guys. So I made this schedule that carried from beginning of June to when I took my test at the end of July, and it incorporated the boot camp stuff from Ari's schedule as well as DAT Destroyer, and I was really trying to read the biology DAT textbook basically as thoroughly as I could because biology is one of the toughest sections because you would never really know what they're going to ask you. So you really want to have been exposed to everything and know it as well as you can. So biology definitely took up a ton of my time just because you never really feel ready for it. In addition, I also hadn't taken anatomy or physiology, so um, I didn't know anything about those subjects. So those also made biology take longer, which is one of the reasons I had to make my own schedule because I knew that I wouldn't be able to keep up with the pace that he was presenting the information. And this is where it gets interesting. About two and a half weeks out from my exam, I was really, really freaked out because I was already doing the practice tests, like he says on his schedule. You should be doing them around that point for sure. And I was doing the practice tests and I was not getting the scores I wanted. And I was freaking out, like, am I going to score this on the real test? So I went and I posted in the DAT bootcamp study group on Facebook. And I was wondering, so is this common? How much do your scores really jump on the real DAT? And a lot of people were telling me they either scored the same or higher and that made me feel a little bit better but i knew i needed to get my scores up still so i adjusted the study schedule a little bit further and it it's the study schedule that i showed you before and that'd probably be about like mid-july you'd be seeing more changes maybe less per day things like that because i wanted to make sure what i was doing i was doing well and as thoroughly as i could because i knew that personally if i could know some subjects very well I'd probably score better than if I was exposed to but confused about a lot of topics. So now I'm gonna show you guys kind of, um, it's a Google Sheet that I made throughout all my practice tests and it'll show how my scores progressed from when I first started taking practice tests, which was like free Kaplan one, all the way to my final scores. So as you can see, it's very, very possible to grow your scores a ton in the time that I did or whatever time frame you have. You just need to be dedicated and know yourself and design the best study schedule for you. So if this video didn't feel detailed enough, felt like I left some things out, 
I kind of did that on purpose because I didn't want it to be too long. So if you want to see any specific subject-based things or if you just have any general questions about my test prep, I'd be happy to answer them in another video. Also, if you have any questions about my experiences so far as a pre-dental student in general, let me know. I'm currently a junior, so if you're like just entering college, thinking about pre-dental, anything like that, let me know. I'll be applying this summer in this cycle, so I might have some insight about that. And especially as it gets into the summer, I can give more insight as I'm really in the thick of the process. So if you have any other video suggestions or anything you want to see, just comment below and let me know. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and you'd subscribe, stick around, and I'll definitely be posting more DAT videos coming up as well as other content about kind of my day-to-day -day life as a student here.